Hello, Irving. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Eric, welcome, Eric. Hello, Eric. Las disculpas que no pude estar en las últimas dos clases, pero he tenido problemas con el internet. Hasta hoy me estoy logrando conectar. Ok, uh, pero ya resolvió, Irving. ¿Sí? No, sí, no he revisado todavía la plataforma por el problema que he tenido, pero a partir de después de la clase me pongo al día. No hay problema, no hay problema. Uh, pero ya arregló el asunto con eh, Tigo, claro, no sé con qué. Con sí, qué. sí, el problema es que, bueno, últimamente aquí en San Miguel está lloviendo muy fuerte y dijeron que, es, que debido a eso era el problema de la, de la, de la mala conexión. Ok. En Eric. Hello, Eric. Welcome. Hola, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello. Nice to, Hello. Nice to listen, please. Okay. Hello, Nelly. You are new, right? Sí. Esta semana, semana comienza yeah. con nosotros, Nelly. Yes. Yes, teacher. Anteriormente, ¿verdad? Sí. No había estado con nosotros anteriormente. No. Bueno, eh, no, no, no. La semana Welcome. pasada no. Welcome. La vamos a anotar entonces, Nelly. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's start with the class. It's eight o'clock. I have a new camera. Uh, oh. Can you see me? It's a little different, but uh, and but the most important, the the, the audio. You listen very well? Yes. Yes. Okay, nice. Good. Now let's start with the review. I'm going to share the, the platform with you. <laughs> Do you have any question before the class? No. Okay, let's start. Let me see. Here. Oops. Let me see something here, here. Okay. Now we're ready. Hi, Pay everyone. Attention, please. In this class, you'll have a vocabulary for you discussing different parts of the body. Do you listen yes. to the audio? Yes, by yes. 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 Okay. Practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, Hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, ankle. feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Oops. I'm sorry, let me check this. Okay. And let me see. Yes. Good. Now we're going to read the book, the commentaries as always do, right? Part of the body. This is my head. These are my ears. This is my neck. These are my fingers. I will maximize it. Vamos a hacer un poquito más grande. 
Okay. Now, uh, Alicia Colorado, right? He says, this is my head. This is my eye. Well, uh, in plural, right? These are my eyes. Uh, this is my ear. These are my ears. That's okay. Good. Rolando Campos. My hands are... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Rolando goes to the, to the team, right? My hands are very strong. Parts of the body. Abel. Okay, nice. These are my eyes. This is my head. This is my mouth. Billy, my hair is color black. This is my stomach, right? Only the, the Peter. Puntito, nada más le faltó. Carolina de Angulo, that's nice. This is my mouth. These are my ears. This is my nose. These are my hands. Ana Alvarado. Ana Maria, right? My eyes are color brown. Nice. In the case of the teacher, my eyes are color blue. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. The parts of the body are eyes, head, nose, ear, mouth, tongue. Aquí creo que la U se nos puede más. ¿Verdad, Lisa? Hand, foot. Uh, and Rolando Campos said, does your head hurt? Te duele la cabeza, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and nose, ear, eye, hand. Okay, thank you for your commentaries. I like it. Very nice. Now let's go to the the conversation again. The second conversation. Have plus noun. Plus different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on the flu. No, I think I just feel a little... Okay, now we're going to practice this conversation. Listen, I need two volunteers. Uh, Eric and Alonso, please, can you help me? Eric, you are Brian. And uh, Alonso, you are Kenichi. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Hello? Alonso, can you hear me, Alonso? Yes. Yes, okay. Alonso, you're Kenichi, and uh, Eric? Hello, Eric. You're going to be Brian, Hello? Eric. You are going to be Brian in the conversation. Oh. Ready? Ready to okay. practice? Okay. Okay, okay. one, okay. two, okay. three. Okay, good. Hey, Kenny, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good at calling. Why, Quack? The meter. Well, I have a head. I'm a bat. Maybe. Do you have the flu? No. I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Tax to back, but maybe I can help like hack Roy at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you very much. Now we're going to practice for a second uh, second time. Right? Repeat after me, please. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? 
matter? Matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. Oh, I have a headache. 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 Well, I have a headache and a backache. Well, I have a headache in a bucket. Maybe Back you have the bucket. flu. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick from for Japan. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Thank you, thank you. Now, that's too bad. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. I feel better already. Okay, now I need two more participants and we finish with this. Uh, let me see, Josue Rosales. Josue, you are going to be Brian, Josue. Okay. Okay, and okay. Abel. Abel, you're going to be Kenichi. Ready, Abel? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a bucket. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think uh, you feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch. At, uh, let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see the commentaries. Rolando Campos. Nice. I feel nice. No, oh, come on, Rolando. I feel nice, I have a toothache. No, no, come on. Me siento bien porque tengo un orden. No, no, no. It could be the negative, right, Rolando? I don't feel nice. Uh -huh. Sorry. I don't feel nice. Yes. Yes, that's okay. Don't worry, Rolando. And then, Alicia Maria, I have a leg ache. Mm -hmm. It's more common to say I have a pain on the leg, right? But yes, I have a knee ache. Okay, but again, you can say I have a, a pain on the knee, right? I have a knee rig, that's okay. I have a cough, nice, good. And Abel, I have a toothache. I have a stomach ache. I have a throat, throat ache, oh, okay, but this is more common, Abel, to say I have a sore throat. Sore throat. Sore, S-O-R-E. S-O-R-E. Sore. That means dolor, right? Dolor. Sore. Sore. Sore throat. It's more common. You can say throat ache. Yes, but it's not common. I feel terrible. Okay, nice. Very good. Thank you, Abel. Billy, I have the flu. I have a foot pain. Okay. That's nice. Uh, only I is in capital letter, in mayuscula. I feel terrific. I feel fantastic. Okay, nice. These are positive, right? And feel is F E E L, right? Feel. Terrific and fantastic are positive, right? For example, I, I, I'm sure Billy was talking about the class. Yo creo que Billy está hablando de esta clase, quizá, ¿verdad? I feel terrific, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Um, Carolina, let me see. I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. It's not yes. stomach chache, right? Stomach ache. 
I feel good and I feel happy. Okay, positive. That's it. Very good. Like, like Billy, uh, Carolina says some positive uh, situation. Thank you. Elisa, I have a feel, no, maybe I've, I have a, a fantastic feeling. Tengo un, una sensación, un sentimiento fantástico, right? I have a fantastic feeling. Okay, and Ana Alvarado, I have a fever and I feel good, right? Solo no falta el puntito ahí, Ana. Ana María, el puntito, ¿verdad? Nada más. So, de ahí está excelente. Congratulations for your commentaries. Congratulations. That's nice. And let's go to the knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. Let me see here. Okay, here. So, listen to the conversation and give the answer, right? So, here we go. Listen again. Wait a minute, something is wrong. Algo malo pasa. Give me a second. T-shirt, t-shirt. Yes? Ese audio comienza bien avanzado. Ah, okay. De de déjelo correr. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Where do these people hurt? I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch! Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okie dokie, now let's do it together, right? We have time, so we want to wanna do it together. What about Ben? Uh, one volunteer, please, who wants to help me with Ben? Say me uh, and say your name. Volunteers? Me, teacher. Me, name, please, your name? Victor. Victor, thank you, Victor. Tell me, what can I check? Head, neck, throat? Head and throat. Head and throat. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Allison, poor Allison, right? Desmadration. <laughs> okay, so, volunteers for Allison? Me, teacher. Okay, name? Alejandro. Name? Alejandro. Thank you, Alejandro. So, what happened with Allison? Hey. Tell me. Hip, back, or back elbow? Back and elbow. Back and elbow. Very good. Yes. Conversation number three. Jeffrey, volunteer. Volunteer for Jeffrey. Me, teacher, yes, teacher. Nelly. Uh, okay, Nelly. Thank you, Nelly. Tooth, mouth, or chin? Tooth. Tooth. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Nelly Aventaño. She's a student in class. Welcome, Nelly. Okay. Uh, excuse me, Nelly. Nelly, where are you from? Excuse me? Where are you from, Nelly? I am from I'm Mexicano. From... Me, the teacher. I... And you? Okay. I am from um, in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Ah, Antiguo Cuscatlán. Yes. Okay. The, the pupusas are delicious there, right? In yes. <laughs> Yesterday I was in, in Plan de la Laguna in Jardín Botánico. It's a nice place. Going. Really? Yeah. Okay, so again, welcome, right? Now let's go to Marta. Yes, Another volunteer, you. please. Me, hey, teacher, Alicia. Okay, Alicia. Ace, um, 
La de bajo, teacher, es que no lo veo. Ah, uh, wrist, wrist. No, no alcanza a ver, permítame. Wrist. Wrist. Mm. Ajá. Y Eyes. 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 Good. Now let's check it out together, right? Era hand eyes. Everything is perfect. Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice, right? Now, I suppose everybody did, right? Lo estamos haciendo porque entiendo que todos lo hicieron ya. Okay? Yes. Que alguno me está haciendo trampita por ahí. <laughs> que lo haga solito, ¿verdad? Okay? Thank you very much. Now, uh, the last conversation. We continue with the review. Seguimos todavía con el repaso, right? Let's continue. Spring. Cough syrup. Everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe. What you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. It's time to see the commentaries. Okay. Common medications is whenever my leg hurts, I use muscle cream. Cofal, right? <laughs> nice. Whenever my body hurts, I take cough syrup. Mm, okay. I, the sentence is perfect, right? But like, uh, like you say, me duele el cuerpo y tomo medicina para la garganta. No, maybe it's uh, I take. I don't know, aspirin, right? Or acetaminophen, maybe, right? Good, thank you. Uh, Rolando Campo, now. I drink syrup when I have a cough. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, Abel, whenever I have a cough, I take cough drops. Mm, okay, nice. When I have a stomach ache, stomach aches together, right, Abel? Uh, Aquí va juntito, stomach ache, right? Okay. I take an antacid. Nice, thank you. Whenever I have a fever, I take an aspirin. Good, that's nice, right? In the last commentary, whenever I have a backache, I take a painkiller. Whenever I have the flu, I take a beer. No, 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 sorry, excuse me. I take cold tablets, right? Good. Whenever I have a toothache, I take painkiller. That's nice. Again, congratulations for your commentaries. That's really, really nice. I really like it. Yes. Okay. Now the class of today, right? Imperatives. But before to go to the imperatives, we're going to check the the PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a second, and we do something here. Give me a second now. I'll check something here. Uh, here's the one. That's nice. And Dran Dran Cherry in the PowerPoint presentation again. Okay, good. Now here we go, right?
2.8, imperatives and another conversation. Don't work too hard, right? And reading. Mm, 10 simple ways to improve your, your health. Uh -huh. 10 simple ways to improve your health. 10 formas de mejorar la salud, right? Y no trabajes muy fuerte. Don't work too hard, right? Se necesita el billetillo en la casa, pero tampoco hay que matarse, right? Then beginner module three. Okie dokie. Now let's start reading the, the lesson objective, right? Uh, Alicia, can you help me reading the objective, please? Oops, I did something wrong, sorry. Dice algo malo, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, again, right? Sorry, sorry. Okay, here, right? Okay, good. So, Alicia, can you help me, please? Yes. Um, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use a positive and negative in imperative. Additionally, you will allow also practices and conversation. Which? Is which? Uh -huh. Which? <laughs> <laughs> Illustrate how this topic is used in real life setting. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Setting. Thank you, Alicia. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Now we're going to learn about imperatives, right? And another conversation, right? How to use imperatives in real life. That is the conversation, right? But right now we're going to start with um, with the vocabulary for today, right? The vocabulary for the exercise and the vocabulary for the conversation. Exhausted, tired, feels, rest, stay up, health, floss, gums, stretch, muscles, challenge, brain, crossword puzzle, monsterizer. Now, please, repeat after me, please. E Oops, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Repeat after me, please. Exhausted. 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 Por ahí escucho micrófono, por favor. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos para que todos escuchemos. Thank you. Apagando los micrófonos, please, for a moment. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Now, let's go. Exhausted. Exhausted. Tired. Peels. Rest, stay up, stay up. Please don't say eh, stay, right? No, no, it's stay up. Health, plus, gums, stretch, muscles, muscles. Challenge, challenge, brain, crossword puzzle, puzzle, crossword puzzle, monsterizer, monsterizer. Good, any question about uh, the meaning? How do you say exhausted in Spanish? You can say, right? Questions? Me, teacher Luis. Tell me, tell me, tell me who is it? Alonso. No, teacher, it's me, Hello. Luis. Luis. Ah, hello, Luis. Okay, please. Uh, question, question. What's the meaning of mo moisturizer? Moisturizer. Moisturizer. Moisturizer, moisturizer is a uh, crema suavizadora. I understand, right? It's for, well, some men use it, right? Algunos hombres tal vez lo usan, pero la mayoría de veces es la mujer, ¿verdad? Es, es um, ¿cómo se la llamaría en español? Uh, un, una crema suavizante de la piel, 
Mectante, teacher. Mectante, yes. Crema mectante, yes. Okay? Okay, so, thank you, teacher. Crema mectante. Thank you. Now, another question? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oof. Okay. What? What the meaning? What the meaning size? What's the meaning of? Tired, tired is a cansado. No. The next, the next one. Feel. Yes. Okay. Feel, feel. Feels, Ana Maria. Feels. Ah, yes. Pastilla. Yes. Pildora. 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 Plus. 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 Es uh, el, el uh, hilo dental. Hilo dental. El hilo dental, right? Okay. Good. Any other question? I will say this gums is encilla, right? Gums. Encilla. Stretch is. Stretch. Estirarse, right? And Me, teacher. Oh, sorry? Me, Victor. Victor. Uh -huh. Victor? Yes, a crossword puzzle. Okay, puzzles are everything that is related with a game, right? Juegos mentales. Okay. And a crossword means palabra cruzada. So it's oh. uh, crucigrama. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, los, los, los juegos de, de preguntas y todo eso son, son pozos también. Los, también los rompecabezas, los que se van armando ahí, son pozos okay. también, pozos. Entonces, okay. todo Thank juego you. que sea cuestión mental, ¿verdad? Son pozos. Y este en específico es crucigrama. Yes? Ok. Thank you, Chicha. Ok, you're welcome. Now, no more questions. <laughs> Now let's do it together, please. Next one. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, now the imperative, right? Pay attention, please. We use imperatives to give orders, warnings, advice, requests. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar los imperativos? Para dar órdenes. Si alguno de ustedes es jefe, ¿verdad? Ahí. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Para dar órdenes, pues, ¿verdad? Se usa el imperativo, right? Like, make the report. Okay. Or, eh, repair the card. <laughs> so, th those are orders, right? Also, warning, right? Okay, don't take my money. Don't play with with fire, right? No juegues con fuego. So warnings, advertencias, warning, right? Also advice, take a pill, for example. Tómate una píldora, right? Or go to the doctor, go to the doctor, come on. Advice, right? Don't smoke, no fumes. Don't drink, okay? And requests, uh, for example, make, Make me a coffee, hazme un café. <laughs> or um, pass me the salt, pasame la sal, right? So we can make it for orders, warnings, advice, and requests. Órdenes, advertencias, consejo y petición, right? Imperatives. Imperatives are very special because we don't use a subject. The subject is tacit, right? El, obje, el sujeto está tácito, no se pone. Solo sabemos que ahí está, pero no, no se pone, right? So, uh, here we have an example, right? In affirmative, take an aspirin. Notice that we don't, we don't have a, a subject, just the verb, right? Here, and the complement, right? Take an aspirin. In negative, we use don't. Why don't? Because... Uh, the orders are in present, right? The orders, when you want something, cuando usted da una orden, 
tense in past tense, lo hacen presente, so in present. So, for example, it says, don't take an aspirin, right? Don't, don't drink, don't drink uh, too much coffee, for example, right? Etc., etc., right? So, these are the affirmative and negative. Now, any question? No? Okay. Now let's continue, please. And when when we use orders, when we give commands, commands, right? When uh, we ask the people to do something, right? Uh, we have this example, right? Wake up now, right? Imagine you have children, lo que tienen hijos, verdad? Levantate ya que es la hora de la clase. Okay. Wake up. Wake up now. Okay. Imagine Victor is eight o'clock in the morning. Say, Victor, wake up. <laughs> okay. So that's an order. That's a command, right? In negative H, don't, don't open the door, please. Don't open the door, right? Those are orders and commands. Uh, can you give me another example, please? Volunteers? Ex extra examples, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Victor. Don't touch my phone. Excellent. Uh, excuse me, you're talking to your wife, right, Victor? <laughs> okay, that's nice. Good. Now, another example, please. Volunteers. Volunteers. Okay, I will take my volunteers, so. Me, teacher, Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro, please. Uh, Alejandro, another example. Don't sit here. Okay, nice. Good example, good example. Now, let's go to the next, right? Warning, advertencia, right? Prohibition. No, 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 it's not permitted, right? Prohibition. <laughs> okay, this is the example. Watch out, right? Tene cuidado. Watch out, right? Sometimes when, when, when we are free, right, we watch those videos, right? Cuando estamos viendo esos videos en, en YouTube, en Facebook, right? The accident, right? Ooh. Watch out! <laughs> so that's a warning, right? And also you can say, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> so that's a prohibition, right? Prohibition. Uh, another example, Ana Carolina. Carolina de Angulo, please, can you give me another example? Uh, don't eat um, with, con las manos sucias, ¿cómo se puede decir? We don't eat with your, your dirty hands Apple. or with no clean hand, right? No clean hands. Okay. 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 Nice. Oh, maybe you can say, wash your hands. That is the, wash your hands. the warning, right? Wash your hands. It's a warning, right? It's a warning. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Ana Maria, another example, Ana Maria. Warning? Yes, warning, advertencia or prohibition. Um, don't touch the water. Don't touch the water. Don't touch. Don't touch my wallet. <laughs> don't touch my wallet. <laughs> in the in the beach. In the beach. Oh yes, in the beach. Sometimes it's prohibition, right? Don't bath. Don't bath. Don't bath. Bath. Bañarse. B a c h c h. ¿Qué me hace con bath? Yes. B a t h. P A T H. Don't back. No, again. Sorry. B A T H E. Okay. Sorry. B A T H E. Okay. Back. Don't back. No te vayas. Oh, the opposite, right? <laughs> Ana Maria. The opposite. Bathe. Bathe every day. Hay que bañarse todos los días. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go to the next. Yes. Ahí entra 
Ahí entra no smoking. Don't smoke. Yeah, it could be a prohibition. And yeah. also a warning. También es una advertencia, right? No fumé porque... Okay. Pero en, en unos lugares es una... Es, una, es prohibido. It's a prohibition. Uh -huh. yes. In restaurants, for example, right? It's a prohibition, yes. I don't smoke. And I, I don't like when people smoke around me, right? And so I can say, don't smoke. A prohibition. Now, advice, consejo, right? Don't be panic. Or maybe don't eat too much. Okay, tenemos pancita, right? Don't eat too much. Okay. Now, let me see. Uh, Billy, can you give me another example of advice, Billy? Billy, Billy. Me, teacher. Está Billy por ahí, me parece verlo. Ok, yes, mira, mira. Aquí está Billy. Billy, yes, can you see me? Uh, yes, Billy. Hello, hello. Creo que no me escucha. Billy, Billy, hello. Hola. Ok, hello, Billy. Es que estoy teniendo problemas con la conexión. Sí, eso veo, o sea, que, que no me escuche. Usted siempre me participa, ¿verdad? Vamos. Pero hoy sí me eh, está escuchando. Sí. Yes, yes. Ok, now, give me an advice. Deme un ejemplo de consejo. Advice. Advice. Uh, the, the... It could be affirmative or negative, Billy. Affirmative or negative. Don't be run. Como un niño, no, no corras. ¿Cómo sería? Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Okay, that's it, right? Nice. Thank you very much. Another okay. example. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Can you give me another example? Cindy. Álvarez. Teacher. Yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, yes, yeah, ¿Sí? that's okay. That's a good example. That's a good Teacher. example. Eh, solo permítame un segundo. Teacher. Ya no me escucha bien. Ya se hace. No, déme un segundo. No, quizás ya se nos dejó. Ajá, Alicia. Uh, don't touch my cup, it's hot. Don't touch my, my cup, it's hot. No. Ah, okay. Uh, you mean don't touch, don't touch my stove. You cannot say kitchen because kitchen is the room, right? In English. Oh, okay. Me refería, por ejemplo, a mi taza. Por ejemplo, mi taza está ah, caliente. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. Don't touch my cup. Don't touch my, my cup. Uh -huh. Don't touch my cup. Uh -huh. C-U-P, right? Cup. Cup. Sería un, una buen consejo, ¿verdad? O también puede ser... C-U-P, cup. Uh -huh. cup. cup. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, y uh, ahorita con el ejemplo, con, con, con lo que dice Alicia. Eh, uh -huh. En el inglés no es necesario como nosotros lo decimos, como ella lo acaba de decir. No toques mi taza porque está caliente. Para especificar, a la hora de decirlo en inglés, no es necesario aseverar el por qué. Ah, uh, well, yes. Remember, the language is not very strict, right? El lenguaje no es estricto. Usted puede eh, abrirse, puede expandirse como usted quiera. Puede decir solo un imperativo y después puede explicar todo lo que quiera, ¿verdad? Eh... En la vida real, por ejemplo, alguien tiene una taza caliente ahí en la mesa y pasa un niño, lo que le va a decir a usted, don't touch it, don't touch it, right? No, no toca eso, don't touch it. Right? Pero tal vez alguien le puede decir, bueno, ¿y por qué me está regañando? Don't touch it because it's too hot. ¿Ah? Entonces ahí como que puede expandir. Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias. Y, pues, ustedes no se detengan. Cuando practiquen, inventen, agreguen. I have a question, teacher. Sí, más ejemplos, etcétera, etcétera, right? Lástima que solo tenemos una hora, pero si ustedes pueden dar más ejemplos para mí, mucho mejor. 
Okay, now let's continue, please. Eh, instructions and requests, right? Dar instrucciones y como cuando alguien anda buscando una dirección, right? And requests. Go straight ahead. Vete recto, right? Go straight ahead. And also take a pill after a meal. Tómate una píldora después de cada comida, right? Let me alone, please. Déjame, déjame solo. Let me alone, please. That's a request, right? Okay, now, more examples, right? Lorena, uh, hoy sí está bien su micrófono, Lorena. Hello. 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 Hola. A lo lejos le escucho, Lorena. Hello. Sí, casi no se le escucha, Lorena, pero bueno. Okay. Eh, primero Dios que logre arreglar ese micrófono, Lorena, ¿ok? Pero espero que vea la clase. Bien. Now, Wendy Cardona, please. Wendy. Can you give me one example, Wendy? Hello, Wendy. Hello, hello. Bueno, vamos a ver. Hay algunos problemitas de conexión. Eh, Irving, can you help me, please? Another example, Irving. An instruction? Yes, instruction or request. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, podría ser uh, get out of here. Get out of here? Oh, yes. Get out of <laughs> here. <laughs> it's on, it's on very rude, right? It's not rude, but that's okay. <laughs> it's an imperative, right? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Now that's it, right? Now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform. Okay, uh, just give me one example. No, let me see. One. Teacher, ya tengo una pregunta. Yes, please, tell me, tell me. Eh, en la anterior, en el anterior ejemplo, puede ser, use la mascarilla. Use the... Use, use the mask, yes, that's okay. Mask. Okay. And remember that you always only use the verb, right? Solo se usa el verbo. Use, take, make. Etc., etc., right? But okay. never use the subject. Don't say, Carlos, use did, right? No, you, you have to, to use only the verb, solo el verbo. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, solo una pregunta. Eh, Claudia Mariona, tengo en la, en la pantalla. Es, disculpe, es la misma Claudia Ordóñez. Hello, Claudia. Parece que el, eh, algunos tienen problemas con, con el micrófono, creo, por ahí. Ok. Lo vamos a averiguar bien, ¿verdad? Porque no quiero confundirme con los nombres. ¿Claudia me escucha, Claudia? No, no me escucha. Ok. Good. Now. Eh, let's continue with... Yes? Yes, question? Eh, no es la misma Claudia. No, ¿verdad? A esa otra chica nueva, entonces, sí. Pero quizás no, no me escucha bien, porque no... Bueno, como sea. Sí. Vamos a seguir, vamos bueno. a seguir. Okay. Eh, now let's go to the platform, right? Vámonos a la plataforma y vamos a practicar los videos. Ok. Oh. Hi, everyone. In this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. 
Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Okay, we're going to practice this conversation before, right? Let me see. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so bad, sorry, not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Then a few minutes later. I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to give you some pills. Pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Anything? Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Thanks, Dr. Young. Good. Now, tomorrow we're going to practice, but now... I can't sleep at let's, night. Let's go to the explanation, yes. right? Whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, class. So I need your commentaries in the video, right? Uh, we are going to read the commentaries tomorrow, right? And now, for the moment, do you have any question or imperatives, class? Alguna pregunta de la estructura y de los ejemplos con imperativos? No? Okay. Uh, let's give 
two more examples, right? Uh, Monica Monterrosa. Monica, can you give me another example of imperative in affirmative, please? Affirmative. In affirmative. Yes, please. Drink a coffee. Okay. In the night. Drink, no, wait. Drink a coffee with Samita, right? Uh, That's a good imperative. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Thank, after the class, I will do it. Thank you. Okay, now one in negative. Uh, Luis, Luis Carranza, still there? Yes. Right? Okay, Luis, give me one, an extra example in negative, right? Yeah. Don't, don't drink too much. Don't drink too much. That's a good, especially if it is Friday, right? Don't drink too much. <laughs> okay, thanks. You thank you. No. Good, now let's go to the next part. Okay, the knowledge check. We're not going to do it today, but I will give you instructions, right? Okay, so in this case, complete this, these sentences, use the words in the box. Call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry, and don't eat. And then here we have the option, for example, a dentist. Stay with the dentist, don't drink the dentist, call the dentist, take, don't worry, don't eat, don't go, or see a dentist. So in of all of these options, you take one option and then you complete, right? This is the, the uh, knowledge check for tomorrow, right? And remember something, right? Recordemos algo, pueden hacerlo, adelantarse si quieren, no hay problema, right? Remember the idea is to complete the 80%. Que lleguemos al 80% en la plataforma. Okay, now, to finish this class, we're going to watch a video. Reading, right? 10 simple ways to improve your health. 10 formas de cómo mejorar su salud. Improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay, so these are the 10 ways to improve your health, right? Desayunar, caminar, salido dental, uh, tomar mucha agua. De vez en cuando estirarse, ¿no? O todas las mañanas antes de comenzar el día estirarse eh, en su vehículo, en su cinturón de seguridad. De, créanme lo que por algunas experiencias familiares, el cinturón de seguridad sí funciona. Así que por favor usen, ¿right? Hay que hacer algo para uh, hacerle un reto a su cerebro, ¿verdad? Este, ahí en YouTube aparecen varios, varias trivias que les pueden ayudar a, a pensar mucho, ¿verdad? Eh, o practiquen sodoku o crucigrama, ¿verdad? Porque eso mantiene el cerebro eh, sano y ayuda a evitar el, el síndrome de Alzheimer, ¿right? Eh, proteger su piel. 
especialmente la señorita, ¿verdad? Que tiene la piel más sensible. Tener bastante calcio, tomar lechita todas las mañanas, ¿verdad? Right? Y de vez en cuando tomarse un descanso, ¿verdad? No toda la vida de trabajar. De vez en cuando salir a pasear. Ok, those are the, the suggestions, right? Good. Now, eh, you're going to make the, the knowledge check, right? Y por último, la última tarea, right? The knowledge check. Eh, you're going to read the article. Van a leer el artículo nuevamente. Y uh, it says, to get exercise... Para ejercitarse, ¿qué van a hacer? Eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk, or stretch for five minutes. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer, verdad? Eh, agarren la opción correcta. Para ayudar a sus huesitos, to help the bones, ¿qué es lo que van a hacer? ¿Ok? To help your muscles, para ayudarle a sus músculos. What are you going to do? Y para mantener las encías saludables, ¿qué se hace? Eh? Ok. And then, to have energy for the morning, para mantener la energía de la mañana, ¿verdad? No hay que tomar una bebida energizante, hay otras cosas que se pueden hacer, right? To challenge your brain, retar a su cerebro, ejercitarlo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que se puede hacer? Ok. Mi consejo es, nunca tomen gaseosa. Tomen mucha agua, especialmente en ayunas. ¿Ok? Y pues si van a tomar una cervecita, que sea solo una, ¿verdad? No hay que abusar. ¿Ok? Una, right? una caja. Yo... No, no, no. La caja no. La caja es muy dura para tomarse. Ok, good. So, any question, um... class? ¿Alguna preguntita antes de retirarnos? Eh, hay algunos que no les di participación, pero mañana seguimos. Así es que por ahí a Cindy, creo, y a Katherine no les di participación este, ni a Noemí, ¿verdad? Mañana seguimos. Mañana les vamos a dar oportunidad. Ok, thank you very much. Have a good night. God good bless night. you. Good night. Bye bye. Good God night. bless you.